Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Holly and I'm the Child and Youth Development Programmer at the Petawawa Military Family Resource Centre. Today we're going to be doing a project out of our Art Attack program. Today's Art Attack project is inspired by Wozley Kadinsky, who was a Russian painter most famously known for his concentric circle painting. They are bright and simple and are a great example of abstract art. Abstract art is a modern art which does not represent images of our everyday world. It has color, lines, and shapes, but they are not intended to represent objects or living things. So here's an example of the art project that we're going to be working on today. This is something that my son Rylan created and we have it proudly hanging up on the wall. So we just put it in a little frame and then we can look at the nice bright colors each time we walk by it. So with that being said, let's talk about the supplies we'll need in order to get started on your abstract masterpiece. So let's talk about the material you will need in order to create your painting for today. So we'll start off by paintbrushes. These are just paintbrushes I got from Dollarama and they're from this pack. You get 25 paintbrushes um, for $4. So steal of a deal. And I am using paintbrush numbers eight, six, and six. So two sixes and an eight. I like the um, brush end tips uh, for this kind of painting, but maybe you have a different preference and that will be up to you. Then I'm just using a pencil. You, um, you'll need a pencil, a ruler. I have some uh, paper towel to dry my brushes if need be, if I want to use, which I will be using a variety of colors, so when I want to switch up the colors, I'll need that paper towel. Um, and then your water to clean your brushes. And then this, again, is just from Dollarama. This is going to be your water color. Um, there's so many different water color palettes that you can choose from, but this was about $2.50. It does its job, and I highly recommend it. And then this is a watercolor pad. So you can get these, I've been told by my coworkers, at Dollarama. Um, watercolor paper has a different texture and does allow um, for a better uh, absorbent of the watercolor paints. And it lets it bleed into each other, which we want that to happen in this painting. So if your colors mix a little bit, that is absolutely okay and just adds to the finished product. So with saying that, let's go to the next step of beginning our project. Okay, so now that you have a watercolor page ripped out of your book, you're going to take your ruler and you're just going to draw um, a grid of 12 squares. So just take your ruler, measure it across. I was able to get my squares to be seven centimeters wide. And then as long as in the end you have 12 squares on your page, um, that will be perfect and you'll be ready to start. So just a reminder that whenever you are drawing your lines onto your page, that you go very, very lightly with your pencil in order to leave um, a light line so you can still see it with your eyes um, and it's a good guide for you because you want to keep your circles inside your square so it gives a more even look at the end, okay? And um, before I forget to mention again, you will need an eraser. This is just to erase your grid lines at the end, but please wait until your picture is completely dry in order to erase your grid lines, um, because as you know, you lose pieces of eraser when you erase um, pencil, and that will go into your wet paint. So just make sure that it's nice and dry before you do that. So let's get started. So wetting your paint brushes, um, whatever paintbrush you decided to use. You just are going to go into your watercolor. I'm going to start with purple and you're going to draw a circle again that stays within your your grid. So each circle, or sorry, yes, each cir circle will fit inside a square. On Kadinsky's photos, he draws very, uses very vibrant colors and he also uses two colors per circle. So I'm just going to use the purple since I already have that uh, wet and ready to use. I'm going to draw three circles in the purple, uh, maybe one over here. Again, the outlay of your picture is completely up to you. Um, that's kind of the exciting part about art is it's you're really the artist, so you run the design of your photo or of your art, your masterpiece. 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with another color. Why not blue? Again, the more wet you get your paint, um, the more vibrant the colors are. And if you happen to notice that the paint runs off into another um, square, so like your colors mix, that's okay. Um, that actually adds to the finished look. So please don't be hesitant about using too much water or having them bleed, the colors bleed into one another, because that's fine. It happened whenever Rylan was creating his photo too, and it really looked pretty. So you're just going to continue doing this over and over and over till you get your desired amount of circles. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go inside of one of the circles. Um, let's do red. So I'm going to go inside of the purple. And again, don't be worried if your colors mix. That's completely okay. And then I'm going to do another red over here. So guys, you just continue this process until all your squares are covered in circles. If you're having a hard time with getting the color off, so as you can see um, in this, this is supposed to be orange, but the green leaked over into it, just wash off your paintbrush using the um, paper towel and that'll clean, give your brush a better clean. And then you can go back into the paint again and you'll get um, your desired color. So this will be more orange. There, that's better.
And there, so that is my completed uh, replica of Wozley Kadinsky's abstract circle painting. Um, like I said, now just please leave it dry. Once it's completely dried, you are just going to simply take your eraser, um, erase over any grid lines that you still see um, showing. And then if you want to proudly display it, you can get a super cheap, very nice um, picture frame from Dollarama. And again, once it's completely dry, you just place it inside and then hang it on your wall. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this art activity just as relaxing as I have, and I would love to see the finished product. So please send me photos of your completed masterpiece through email. I hope you all have a great day and hope to see you next time. Bye.